The equipment automatically performs automated tests every morning. It is needed to connect AC power and battery, place the paddles well, or connect test load with pads cable, and test will be done automatically, while the D3 is off. If test can pass, the green status indicator is illuminated. In the case the test fails, the red status indicator is illuminated. When the device is on, a low-level technical alarm last auto test failed will be displayed. Start user test manually and check the failure item. To access user test, press the main menu button and select user test. Select routine test, energy delivery test and controls test. Press start button to start user test. We recommend to do routine test and energy delivery test once every week and controls test once every year. Press charge button on the paddles to charge. Press both shock buttons together on the paddles. Continue the energy delivery test on battery. Repeat the charge and shock operation. If you have pads cable, continue the pads cable test. Connect test load with pads cable and connect cable to the device. Press charge button on front panel. Press shock button on front panel. Follow the displayed prompts to run the controls test. No shock advised. After test completion, make sure all tests passed, press return, if there is any test failure, you can check failure item in history. Follow the prompts to restart the device. Life expectancy of a battery depends on how frequent and how long it is used. When properly used, the lithium battery of defibrillator has a useful life of approximately two years. We recommend to connect AC power to defibrillator when it is standby, and every three months we recommend to condition the battery and change battery every two years.